Ladies and gentlemen, today we have my biggest addition to my Marsh Tomp PSA 10 collection that I've had in one haul uh, ever so far. Um, this was a value submission, so $30 a card. It came back probably 45, 50 days. Um, very happy with some of the results. Very disappointed with some of the others. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. I already checked the grades because I just couldn't wait. Um, got the fresh PSA box right here. Already opened it up because it takes forever to open them up. And let's get into it. Packaged out of order, I can already see. Oh, uh, here's what it is. Okay. Let's... How do I do this? Okay. One card at a time. This is one of the ones I wasn't happy with. A nine on this construction starter deck, first edition. The second card ever to come out from Marsh Top. Same deck, 005. Um, still need this in a 10. I have one more of these off when uh, I sent out a submission for $18 per card, where I'm getting, I put most of the bulk of uh, most of the more modern Marsh Top cards that have not graded yet. This is one I was also disappointed. I opened this up. Uh, brand new to simply get the 004 Marsh Tomp, the first ever Marsh Tomp ever released. And this is actually, I was really hoping a 9 or 10 for this. Um, but this is the very first Mudkip card ever. This is the only non Marsh Tomp card in the submission. First edition, hollow. Opened this up myself and got the 8. Um, Would have loved a better grade. Still a beautiful card. And I'm like, I'm still really happy to add this to my collection. Um, I don't. Looking at it just by myself, the back looks perfect. Um, I'm assuming it was something to do with the hollow foil because they have a band around them and this is the card in the front. So um, I'm assuming the grade. Yeah, I see a little bit in that bottom left corner. So that is what it is. Next, oh, this is another one. I got an eight on this water quick construction pack, uh, first ed. Uh, this was, uh, yeah, I guess in the bottom right, I can see a little bit. Um, most of these, I, I only graded ones I thought I could get a 10. Um, the centering is quite off top to bottom on this one and left to right. So I'm not shocked this didn't get a 10. And if it doesn't get a 10, I don't really care if it's an eight or a nine. Obviously I would have, I'd prefer the nine, but it is what it is. And then we got this, a second nine. Funny that they don't put them in the same order, but these I'm gonna have to look through some more as to why they got the grades they did. But you know, typically new back Japanese grade really well. Um, this might be centering top to bottom as well, but we shall see. Uh, this, is an, this is the one I'm most disappointed at. Miracle Crystal um, 9, first dead. This is my favorite Marshmallow art ever. I really want this in a 10. I don't have it. Um, I actually, I graded one previously at 9 as well. So, very disappointed in that one, but... And I also don't have another one of those to send off um, in good condition, so. First 10, oh, and I love to see it. Gem Mint 10 Magma vs. Aqua First Edition from 2003. This was a hard one to get, so I'm glad I got the 10. All the early ones are obviously a lot harder. Um, but it looks a little bit of cardboard on there. Uh, it looks fantastic though. So I'm super, super happy to have that one in a 10. Next, ooh, here we go. This is a grail card for me. Uh, this is the first ever Marsh Top card in a 10. Uh, it was a pop one forever. Now it's a pop two. Zero, zero, four, so happy. I opened 
spent a lot of money to get the first edition Mudkips constructed star jacket from Japan uh, to grade one myself. So I just couldn't find a great copy. And this pulled a 10. I would have been really sad if I didn't get a 10 on those. So I'm very happy I got a 10 on that. And pop two to pop three. I actually had another one I ordered from a Japanese auction. Um, I didn't think it was gonna get 10. I don't remember why. I usually, if I see the smallest imperfection in a car, I like call it out right away, but I don't know. It looks good, it looks pretty perfect to me, and I didn't check the other one out, but two tens on that on my grail, and I couldn't be more happy with that. Here's another one I'm stoked about. Um, Japanese Earth's Ground on Marshtomp EX Constructed Starter Deck First Edition, the mouthful up top. Um, super, super happy to have this one. Not many fighting Marsh Tomps. I think there's only two. The other one's um, Brock's Marsh Tomp. Shahat was the first card I ever graded. Spent way too much money to get it graded, but because I was too impatient, but did it anyways and pulled a 10. So I am so stoked to have that in a 10. I have two of those other, in those my other submission. Save that one. This is another nine. The Miracle Crystal first ed. Disappointing. Really wanted one of those to get a 10. And then I also had this one. I just got the 10, but also got one in a nine. I have two of these, also my other sub, um, but these two were better copies, so I wouldn't be surprised if those get nines. Uh, but it'd be great if one had a 10 as well. And then here we go, Moonlit Pursuit, first edition, Gem Mint 10, Diamond and Pearl. So happy to have this in a 10 as well. I have one more of these um, in my other sub. I have the light on just so you can kind of see the card better but so happy to have this in a 10. So I'm now up to, uh, I have 004 first, I have seven total Gem Mint 10s, there's 14 total cards. My other sub has the much newer ones, EV Heroes, Title Storm, um, and some of those sets. So those are kind of shoe-ins for 10s that if I don't get them, I'll have a really good opportunity. I can just, if I don't get it, I should definitely should get them. I also uh, should definitely get them on the EV Heroes, etc. But if I don't, I could just order a million more and pick out the good ones. Um, the ones I'm most worried about at the moment are this one. Um, I don't have any more office submissions right now. I have one I bought just now on eBay or a couple days ago, but I don't think it's going to get a 10. It was hard to tell. Um, and I can't find any more on Japanese auction sites that look good. Um, so this one's gonna be tough. We'll have to see my options for this. Of course, it's my favorite artwork that's giving me a lot of trouble. Um, the 005, kind of, uh, and the water constructed starter deck. Where was that one? Uh, the water constructed starter deck one, there it is. This one's an eight, I have one more PSA and uh, the other tier, I'm hoping that pulls a 10 so I don't have to go out and get more. Um, I've seen some more live on auction sites right now and so I'm hoping um, I just get them on eBay or something if I need to get another one for this. But this is a semi early one as well, 2005. Um, there's also the Meiji chocolate one, I have some I need to get. Um, yeah, like I said, centering on this one was really bad so I was hoping they would kind of be grade nicely on it. It might be a perfect card otherwise, which is probably why I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe 9 OC, who knows. But yeah, overall really happy. Added four Gem Mint 10 March Chomps to my collection. Um, I got seven to go. And hopefully the next sub, it's in stage six right now. A lot of the big names like TCA Gaming and those guys have already gotten their $18 subs back. I wasn't expecting to get them back to like January, uh, but mine's in grade six, two day check one right now. So I'm hoping to get it back in the next week or two. And yeah, I am super stoked to be uh, uh, four steps closer in my Ultimate Marsh Stomp collection. And thank you for being along for the ride.